A brand new Fox News national poll is just in showing 47% of Americans believe that the condition of the economy is good or excellent, dwarfing the 9% of people recorded during President Obama's second year in office. It also found uh, was that the, if the election was held today, 38% of the people would vote to reelect President Trump. That's up from 35% in January of this year. President's base also sticking solidly with him. 84% of people who voted for him in 2016 would either probably or definitely cast a vote to keep him in the White House in 2020. And get this, that is up 7% from January 2018. Joining me now is Fox News political analyst Gianno Caldwell and Democrat strategist Leslie Marshall. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming in, Gianno. Thank you. His base, it's stronger than ever. Yeah, I think it'll continue to uh, improve on the on, improve on those numbers. What's interesting, I've been in politics for almost 20 years now, and I recall when someone told me, "Listen, you don't panic about polls because polls don't vote; people do." And what we see right. now is a new narrative that's going to get established in January 2019. Whereas you see uh, Adam Schiff. And many others, Maxine Waters talking about impeachment. You see Adam Schiff talking about prison time. There's going to be a coalition of Democrats that are forcefully against this president, and it's going to appear that there's some type of coup. I, I just believe that. Therefore, his, bo his base will become more and more enthusiastic, enthusiastic about him and want to support him even more. And independents will say, this is unfair what the Democrats well, are doing. Leslie, Maybe we should give this guy a second chance. Yesterday, I think, was a perfect ex example where, where we saw that confrontation between the president President and Pelosi and Schumer and the media, the, the mainstream media said it was a disaster for the president, et cetera. The, his base thought he was the absolute hands down winner. No question about it. Schumer wasn't looking at him. Uh, Nancy Pelosi kept saying, turn the cameras off. I mean, it, it, very different perception that what what most people in the media think is a disaster for Trump, his base thinks is a big winner for Trump. Well, quite frankly, if we just look at how many seats the Democrats picked up in the House, it's 40 now uh, in the midterm election. I, I don't agree with the uh, just the media uh, seeing uh, the president as having been juvenile or having a tantrum or being childish. Yes, his base loves him, David, but his base is shrinking, although the majority of that base continues to not, say Leslie. that they That's want the to. The, 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 the polls show that the people that supported Donald Trump in the past will continue to support him in even larger numbers in the future. However, we are also seeing states like we saw in the midterms, like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania and Michigan, that went to the president in 2016, coming back to the Democrats. So although but I got to tell you, you're forgetting he held the on in the midterms to Texas, the House, Ohio, you're forgetting and Florida. the Senate. Yeah. Give us two more years, David. Give us two more years. I'm not, look, I, I'll, I'll be the first to admit, Donald Trump could easily right now yeah. be reelected because the country yeah. is still very split. What is going to happen, I agree with uh, Gianna, not about a coup, put away the grassy knoll, please, but I do think that largely what the Democrats decide to do and not do, and also what the president does in tweets, is going to largely affect what happens in the next election in 2020. Well, one thing that, that most Americans are together on, uh, whether they're Democrats or Republicans, Republicans. I mean, you look at the whole base of Americans, and they are for a secure border. Uh, now, they have different, different ways of going about it, but they are for a secure border. If there is a government shutdown over the question of a secure border, and the president came out clearly and said, I will take credit or blame, however you want to put it, for yeah. a government shutdown if it's to keep our borders secure. Gianno, who do you think wins in that case? Well, if, if President Trump, who's been talking about funding for the wall since 2016, is very consistent on that point, because I know at some point voters, especially within his base, were disappointed that he hadn't gotten the funding for the wall. It's going to favor him in that way, especially if you can provide a case and show clear examples of how not having a wall is detrimental. We've seen that time and time again, how illegal immigrants that come into the country, some are criminals, they do illegal things and they hurt people, Kate Steinle being a, a good example. Um, then it's, it's a true win for him. But at this particular point in time, we got to think about the fact that Democrats in the past, before it was unpopular to do so, they have advocated for funding right. for fencing and Absolutely. all kind of security no, uh, uh, to pr protect our border. So, you know, we can't forget about that. Leslie, I got to switch gears very quickly because Joe Biden jumps out in this in this list of, of contenders as the leader, the odds on leader, 70 percent. Uh, of Democrats say he has an excellent or good chance of being the nominee. What do you think? 
I agree 100 percent, and I'll tell you why. Not only does he have the experience, but I think that Joe Biden talks to the working class like no other politician, and that is really what Democrats need to get back three of those states that I mentioned uh, that the president won and put him over the top and into the White House in 2016. I also feel with his no malarkey shoot from the hip uh, type of stance that he really can talk to Trump and play the game verbally that Trump does now that we've seen how Trump campaigns, how Trump debates that we saw in 2016. Right. And I do think that Joe Biden, quite frankly, I'll go out there, I think Biden Beto is the ticket Democrats oh, wow. could have that could make Donald Very Trump a By the way, I, I cannot so wait to see Biden and Trump on a stage going after each other. I mean, it's going to be the heavyweight champion of the world, uh, whoever wins yeah. that debate. I, Guys, st I, still don't I don't still don't think that Biden, in terms of debating, has that same kind we'll of influence see. that people think. I don't think that would be the case. We'll but see. certainly I, I with hope we see unions it. and middle class, he, he perhaps has a chance I there. would love to see it. I bet it gets better ratings than any debate in history. Great to see you both, Gianno <laughs> and Leslie. Thank Good you. stuff. You Appreciate too. it.